Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Attila Tero. First of all, I want to wish everybody a very happy new year. This is your January 2024 love and relationship uh, tarot reading. Uh, as usual, this is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. But let's jump into it. We're going to start with your uh, animal oracle uh, spirit animal card which for you is the dear spirit being a gentle touch so uh, you know this is all about that you need to be kind of paying attention to others and and be very diplomatic uh, so this is uh, you have to kind of focus on uh, how you are communicating and you need to pay attention to how others are feeling uh, right so so make sure that this time you're paying attention to your communication and be uh, very very diplomatic in uh, your relationships but let's see what is the tarot is going to be all about for you in the center of your reading you do have the five of ones the five of ones is the card of conflict and it is also the card of competition right so no wonder that you have the dear spirit bring a gentle touch because if you're kind of going through some kind of a conflict uh, communication is always key uh, so this is the type of conflict uh, where, uh, you know, people are coming from a uh, diverse background and this, uh, the communication is kind of, uh, and, 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 and this is the one that's kind of creating issues. So whenever this comes up to the diverse background, this can be like, you know, uh, different uh, type of uh, race. It can be also uh, a different uh, type of uh, financial background uh, so pretty much anything that's kind of uh, it pertains to and uh, for some of you uh, this is creating some kind of a conflict so make sure that you're gentle this time because you know if you're not coming from equal uh, background the other person uh, definitely might be uh, feeling uh, more sensitive uh, to certain things, whether it's financial, whether or any kind of uh, in uh, at, at any kind of inequalities. Uh, but you know, this is also a card of conflict. So the conflict can be that you know, um, some of you maybe you have a lot of uh, people to choose from. Maybe uh, you have uh, uh, people that are trying to compete for you or maybe you are the one competing for uh, uh, other people so there's definitely some co type of competition for some of you and you need to be kind of see how you can be very diplomatic about that as well but let's see the very first card is a beautiful energy of the ten of pentacles which is the card of uh, legacy creating your own family this is kind of like the the stability card when you are creating some stable background for yourself if you're single this is def definitely the card that's indicating that some kind of a long-term relationship is coming for you uh, where people are coming uh, from uh, different uh, uh, similar values so so the people that have in this relationship have similar values for some of you it might be an indication uh, that uh, maybe uh, you and your partner are or will be from a different uh, uh, wealth uh, background because uh, the ten of pentacles can indicate that but this is uh, the card uh, where you're kind of creating your legacy where you're ready to settle down where you are creating your multi-generational family and i think for some of you would probably the wealth differences might be causing some type of a conflict the next card is the nine of wands which is the card of uh, perseverance the card of persistence and it's also a card of being tired so some of you are very tired of uh, your situation whether you're single and you're kind of competing for people whether you are uh, in a conflict uh, in a relationship uh, the nine of wands is an indication that you're pretty much ready to give it up and you don't know uh, whether you want to continue or not uh, this card is always a sign that you need to keep going you keep uh, pushing forwards uh, because you're actually very close to achieving your goals now the next we have here is the four of wands which is the card of uh, new beginning uh, new doors opening uh, relationship getting married getting engaged 
and and this is kind of like the celebration of it this is a definitely a big milestone when you're celebrating something i don't know maybe some of you are planning to get married and and maybe you're exhausted from it i can totally see see that playing out for some of you uh, but there's definitely that's kind of exhausting you that's creating conf conflict uh, but the four of wands is a very good energy this is all about uh, feeling home feeling uh, very comfortable uh, with the people who are surrounded with uh, and and and, and uh, it's this is this very joyful energy when you're celebrating uh, your success uh, and again like this is uh, the typical marriage card so for some of you maybe there's some kind of a long-term relationship marriage in question here now the next card we have here is the eight of cups which is uh, leaving something behind uh, that's no longer serving you and you're kind of looking uh, going towards your true true happiness your passions uh, so some of you might be leaving your uh, solitude behind some of you might be uh, leaving uh, a relationship behind uh, so there's definitely turning back on something maybe you're turning back on uh, your legacy maybe you're turning back to uh, back on your um, finances or uh, the conflict that you've been going through but you're definitely going towards your happiness uh, now the next card we have here is the two of pentacles the two of Can pentacles is the card of balance so this is some of you are trying to balance your life balance every aspect of your life balance finances as well especially if you're kind of trying to uh, uh, plan some kind of a wedding uh, but this is also like you know uh, finding balance in various aspects of your uh, life uh, and uh, some of you need to balance uh, you know how how much time you're spending with your loved ones and how much time you are spending with work uh, but this is also a card of being very resourceful so so you're definitely able to find solutions whether it is pertains to uh, the conflict or the competition that you've been kind of going through uh, now let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that more people get the message that they need to hear and for you it is only costing a push of a button so i hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons and i'm always very excited to read in the comment what is that what is which part of this reading is resonating with you uh, so the next card we have here is the six of wands which is the card of success being in the center of attention and it is also a card of victory so whatever you've been going through you're going to be able to come out of it successfully uh, you're going to be able to uh, uh, celebrate something right you can see that she is really celebrating something uh, so uh, some if you're single i think this is a great time for you to meet somebody uh, but even in a relationship it is a card that's indicating things are gonna be going well you're definitely going towards success uh, next card we have is uh, the two of swords which is an indication that some of you might be uncertain this time uh, the two of swords uh, generally comes up when uh, so when uh, you are kind of uh, have to make some kind of a decision and you're kind of torn between two options and and you have hard time choosing so if you're kind of going through the competition and maybe you have two people to choose from uh, maybe uh, you have uh, some kind of some kind of decision to make whether you want to be in a relationship or uh, you want to be single uh, there's something that you have hard time um, uh, making up your mind but then the two of swords is the card where you need to listen to your inner voice your inner guidance because deep down you actually know the answer uh, two of swords can be uh, from on a conflict end can be kind of like a ceasefire type of energy when you're kind of when you are uh, kind of in the middle of something and you're kind of taking a break from this conflict uh, but it can be as, uh, as well that you know if you are between two people uh, maybe you just don't want to uh, take sides of this conflict now let's see the last card the last card we have here is the moon which is pretty much was uh, already part of your two of swords energy because um, this is all about uh, being uncertain but this is all about uh, listening to your inner voice your inner guidance uh, because that's going to be able to kind of help you so so try to think about how can you be gentle how can you be uh, 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 diplomatic uh, probably your instinct uh, is, is 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 very key in 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 this period of time moon can be also a card of secrets as well so maybe there's some kind of a secret here that uh, or information that you don't know about uh, but at the bottom of the deck you do have the temperance which is kind of uh, asking you uh, to be patient 
So uh, whatever you do, be gentle, uh, be patient, and uh, just listen to your inner uh, guidance, your inner wisdom, and you're going to be able to achieve the success that you are looking for in terms of love and relationship. So that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading helped you, and I'll be able to welcome you again.